Welcome back everyone. So what I want to do in this video is just give you a little more insight on how I did the banking program and what I expect from you so that when you submit it, I, there aren't any surprises uh, when you get your feedback. So if you follow along with me, I think uh, you should be able to get a decent understanding of what I'm looking for. So the first thing is if you take a look up top here, you're going to see my name is up top, the name of the project, and just a brief description of what it is. I actually just copied a good chunk of it from the Airhead the Banking Guidelines sheet in here. And so we're going to be getting these uh, information about the month, the opening amount, and notice that it gives you some information about what the actual purpose of these items are. So I'm doing my include biostream and of course you want to include the banking. And in this uh, file, I'm using using name state standard. Uh, it's your call whether you want to do the using STD dot dot. I, I have that in another file as an example to show you. But if you prefer to use using name state standard, that, that is just fine. These are the functions that I use to get the data in here. And primarily I'm using the get integer with a string and the get double. So that allows me to use the same function to do multiple purposes and to pass a string as a prompt in here. So again, notice how in the very beginning here, I have all of the fields covered up here or the variables, however we want to call them and what their purpose is. So you wanna always do that. Then I have just simple, some functions in here. So get investment. So I'm getting a double because uh, the investment, maybe you're putting initial investment of $100 and 25 cents in here. So we're getting double and zero is the minimum that you can have. So you don't wanna put in an initial investment of minus $1. So it should not take it in here. And then I'm, just getting it in here, then I'm setting the the private variable in here, initial investment in here to what is here. Now I put these C outs in here always just to see if what I'm doing is working. So then you comment out when you're finished with the program and everything's working fine, but I don't wanna go through a lot of data input to find out that something's not being set properly. Then we have the same thing, uh, what is monthly deposit and then now here we have interest rate. Now the monthly deposit could be zero as well as initial investment could be zero, but the interest rate here needs to be positive. So I set it at one and I set the number of years as one. So if you try to get something that's less than one for the interest rate, it's gonna kick it out. And obviously the same thing with the number of years. Notice that I have get double and then get integer so let me just show you how one of them works. So shortcut here is F12 if you're in Visual Studio on Windows. And so I'm having a lowest pass and then I'm having a prompt. So I put this here as blank, just so you can see, you always wanna put the purpose of get integer is in here. And you'd really wanna comment what these numbers are. So I like to use a Boolean to help me with my data validation. So I'm setting out the prompt that's saying, enter whatever I pass in here and it gives me the lowest in here. And then I'm getting the number. I'm not doing any error checking if you type in ABC in this particular one, but then I'm setting a Boolean to see if I need uh, to re-input. So basically need data is gonna be the number that was input is lower than the lowest. And then I'm saying if need data, than invalid number. Now notice I'm not saying if need data equals true. I'm just going if need data. That is the way that you should actually program in here. And then I'm going to keep doing this as long as we need data. Then I'm going to return the number and double is the, the same thing. So let's take a quick look at what I'm doing in the actual banking, not the header, but the banking. So I have uh, all these using standard C out in here just to show you an alternative way of doing things. So I have my variables in here that I'm setting in here. This is the default constructor. 
So you notice that I'm setting everything to zero or 0, 0.0 if it's a double. Then what I'm doing is I'm setting the initial investment. And what I'm doing here is I'm getting the initial investment, but I'm also making the beginning balance the initial investment because we're using that. So I'm going to let you write those codes. But here's how I did it. This is a little function that I use to center text. You don't have to worry about that. But here's what I did to display balances. I just put in some fancy schmancy stuff with nothing exciting here. Then I'm just printing out the months one at a time. And this here just lets me determine if we're starting a new year. So you don't have to worry about that. This is just the way I did it. So I'm calculating the balance based upon the formula. And then notice I print. And then after that, I set the beginning balance as the closing balance of the last year. So let's take a try run and see if this actually works. Hopefully it will. So the first thing I want to do is what is the investment? Initial investment must be greater than, I probably should have put greater than or equal to zero. So let's put in uh, $1. And then the monthly deposit, let's put $50. And then the interest rate, let's put in five and we'll do one year. And this is what I came out with. You don't have to make it as fancy as this, as long as everything lines up nice and prints in here. And that's the whole program. So hopefully this video is going to help you. So please uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and Please uh, let me know what you think of this video. Please leave uh, comments. Let me know if there is a video that you would like me to make. Please uh, let me know, inform me, and I'd be more than happy to do my best. But also, please remember the importance of watching these videos in here. If you're watching this video, then you can see that it's um, you're obviously here. But uh, the importance of following instructions so I can give everybody a good grade. So that is it for this video. Hopefully it helps you. Please uh, let me know what you think. And I look forward to seeing your submissions.